Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In this edition, I explore a Flagstaff Microlight 25 FKBS, otherwise known as the Rockwood Mini Light 2516S, a brand new product from the folks at Flagstaff Rockwood. The unloaded vehicle weight of this unit is a little over 6,000 pounds. Its fresh water is 54 gallons, gray water 60 gallons, black water 30 gallons. The exterior length, one inch under 26 feet. Today we're at uh, Explore USA RV Supercenter. I'm just cruising around. I just saw a new product uh, come on the lot. They just got a whole shipment of uh, micro lights. And you know I'm a big fan of micro lights, so let's check one out. Here's the biggest micro light I've ever seen. It's pretty close to a super light. It has two uh, Moride step aboves. Very nice. It's just fresh from the factory, so you can see it's pretty dirty. It's where they put the uh, 110, the antenna, and you can put a table there and a TV up there. Of course, it has outdoor speakers. Solera awning, and here's the uh, fresh water intake, so you can uh, gravity feed some water. Let's back up a bit. Again, they have a whole row, a whole row here of uh, micro lights. And of course, Explore USA RV Supercenter is a chain of stores. They're not like a Haylet RV over there in Michigan or something that's a mom and pop operation. This is a, they have inventory, period. Okay. So right down there, of course, they have the uh, stabilizer jacks manual. There's the water heater. You have an area there for two batteries, and of course, uh, there's a 12 volt shutoff right below the uh, two 30 pounders power tongue jack. Very nice. And uh, nice diamond plate. You get the residential style uh, windshield up front. And this is the white option. You get the white option. Now let's take a peek and see what model this is. Again, this is. Fresh from the factory, built in 2421. This is an FLT 25 FKBS. This is a monster. This is a monster. This is almost, uh, you know, super light size. This has a dry weight of 6,100 pounds. This isn't no 4,000 pounder, okay? So, right here, you have a little tiniest of tiniest sections here, and I think you can access it from the kitchen. Okay, let me close this. There's your docking light switch. This is an unusual storage area. It goes back about a foot. It's about 18 inches wide and goes up quite a ways. Let's go inside and take a peek. Wow, this is big. This goes up about four feet and is very nice. What do you think? Let me close it. Again, this thing's dirty. It needs to be washed. Pretty sure they'll wash it for you because they're nice people here at Explore USA RV Supercenter. Super nice people. Okay, and this is an area here where they hide the water pump and filter and you can access it there by unscrewing those little screws. There's your 30 amp, tank flush, various antennas, city water antifreeze inlet and of course your outdoor shower okay they have new rims i like these rims just in the last few months they changed the rims out why not go crazy and uh, over there on that side way over there on that side of course beyond the uh rack and pinion uh, you know slide out mechanism is the uh flush one of the flushes. And over here you get another one. This one's gray and black. And over there I think it's uh, another gray, if I'm correctly. Again, if you have any questions about these units, uh, talk to a salesman. I do this every day. I'm just uh, doing this as a hobby. I'm just having fun, passing some time. Uh, last week it was flooding here in uh, 
Fort Worth. Some of the houses were flooded and we had a snowstorm, Armageddon. Thank you very much, ERCOT. And this is a half a pass through, okay? Some of their stuff's being stored here. Even get a little, little piece of carpet here. Very nice. And to close this, of course, you have the magnetic holes. And these are not slam latches. You have to twist this little knob here. Let me back up a bit. So again, you get two slides on this model. On the roof, you got 190 watts of solar, a go power solar system. Of course, you can always upgrade it. And the wiring for the solar is uh, 30 amps. So you, each uh, solar panel is about 9.3 amps, so you can add another two 190 waters. It doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, Go Power. It could be some cheaper brand. So you get there, you go up on the roof that way. Here's a shot of the roof. Of course, that's where you can put a backup or uh, you know any kind of observation camera that you want. The wiring's there. And there's your 190 watt Go Power solar panel. Cover for your budget uh, vent, and then of course your nicer maxer vent, and your air conditioner way back there in your antenna. What do you think? This you typically only find these plastic uh, wheel covers, your spare tire covers, on the uh, super lights. And down there below is a hitch where you can connect a cargo rack, bike rack, anything. Not over 300 pounds. In fact, less is best. So there's the two doors. What do you think of this unit? I like it. If you can tow it, why not? If you can tow uh, 6,000 pounds, this isn't too big. You know, fully loaded, maybe 7,000 pounds or so. Let's enter through the back. Through these, first we're going to hit these nice uh, Moride uh, step aboves. At least I think they're more right, some of those. <laughs> Let's get inside. Oh, had to close the door. So this is the entrance in the back. Closed up, you can access the bedroom from this door and also the bath. The other door, you can access the uh, kitchen and the fridge. Okay. Keeping it simple here. There's a closet. Plenty of room in this closet, well, don't you think? Look at that. That's a good size closet. Very nice. And you have a mirror so you can check yourself out in the morning, make sure you're absolutely good looking. You know, you know, so these are deep, deep drawers here. So to put your clothing, your sweaters, your jackets, whatever. Your undies, your socks, you got two of those. And over here you got another area over here. I would use that for shoes or just stackable storage. I would put a stackable unit, one, two, and put some shoes in there. But that's me. Nice hinges. There's your emergency exit. And there's your cheap ass fan that you can replace with something nice, like another Max Air fan with a rain cover. Got some speakers. You got your vents that can move around. You can move them this way, that way, any way you want. And this is one of the slides, and you get the bed in the slide. A queen bed in the slide and a micro light. Who would have thunk? And of course, there is an option that you don't have to get these, uh, you know, these uh, blinds that are these accordion style, you know, style blinds. You can get, you know, actual drop, you know, blinds that drop down, you know. So it's a nice bed. Let's see if we can get this thing open with one hand. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, not not too good on that side. I'm gonna try this side. Ooh, there we go. Thankfully, I got you know a little piston action there helping me out. So we have two very nice drawers. These drawers come out rather readily and uh, pretty deep. They're good, eight inches deep. Plywood box construction, solid wood door fronts, nice little handles. And uh, this is something I wanted to show you, that these, uh, wherever they screw in uh, a screw, they put some wood. So a little piece of wood, not a big piece of wood, but a piece of wood that a, a metal, you know, screw can get a bite. 
into that. Okay, so. And there's where you can access it from the outside. So, if I was doing any camping, any sort of area that had a little bit of a uh, frostiness, I would uh, sort of put some uh, insulation over there. Just some, uh, you know, like uh, moving blankets. That'll be perfectly fine. And again, this is metal. This is nice. This is a nice construction. And you got the pistons. And you got a nice, decent little mattress. It's about, ooh, I say six inches. Ooh, that's nice. And of course, you have storage above. And you get the blue and white reading lights. And uh, so, so, uh, you know, balances. Down there is the, uh, what do you call it? Fuse box? The controls? Various uh, fuse, fuses are down there. And of course, right here is the on, off switch. And there's your control for your pulse width modulated budget, super budget. Probably cost 20 bucks, 25 bucks. It's not that expensive. This is your solar charge controller. Typically, typically on a good setup, this is just your monitor. Your charge controller is next to your battery for efficiency. Let me pound that a couple more times. Just for efficiency. So if the charge controller is right here, it's very inefficient. Basically, you're losing power. Do you want to lose power? You know, no. Most people don't want to lose power. So now we're in this little area here. We have a sliding door that slides rather readily. And right over here, we have some very good bathroom storage for your linens, for your towels, etc. You get three levels, one, two, three. And you get a porcelain foot flush toilet. It's a little narrow, but I can fit in there. So let me close this. And they're very gracious to give you a towel ring. Very nice. And up here is the one of the stars of the show, the Max Air fan with a rain cover. That's a you know very nice thing to have. And of course you get the vents and you get the lights and you get the mirrors and you get some very nice storage over here. Okay. You get the plastic sink. They haven't upgraded those to uh, metal or stainless steel yet. And of course you have receptacles there and you have this little sponge door right there. Let me open this a little bit so I can close this. Right under here is a perfect little spot to put your chemicals, all the stuff to clean the uh, unit, uh, stuff that you wouldn't put on your body. <laughs> Just sequester them there. There you go and you have a receptacle there. Let me close this. There you have your uh, light, and there's the ugliest man in the world right there. There he is, right there. Of course, this unit takes advantage of Aquaview Shower Miser, and you get a little plastic wand that you can immediately replace with something like an Oxygenics or something really nice. And this uh, has, hey, I like this. I like this. It's no longer gray. It's white to match the shower. <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. I like this white. Let me see if I can flip around the camera so you can see me in the shower. There I am. Let me see. I got, mm, I estimate, three, four inches here. And I'm not even in the thing. I'm 5'10", and I'm wearing my uh, walking, hiking shoes. So, what do you think? Let me turn around the camera. Very nice. My camera's working. <clears throat> Today I'm shooting this video with my... Uh, DJI Pocket 2. There's a table that goes uh, that you can use in front of your chairs here. You put it in front of this chair, so it's your little dining room table. So they're still giving you these little manual budget. Again, sometimes they do things on a budget, but some things they 95%, 95% of this unit is upscale. But once in a while, they do something on a budget, okay? Get two windows here. You get the uh, the blinds. And of course, these are recliners. And up here, you got an air fryer, one cup, two cups, alternating current and USB, and it closes like that, opens like that, amazing. And of course, this goes back, and you can have one, two, three people sit here. And this is from the Millersburg collection. Right here is your lumbar support, which you can you do when you have alternating current. And you have some storage here, nice hinges, nice storage. Good, get some on both sides. What do you think? So I'm, I'm putting my back to the door in the restroom. 
I'm giving you a little pan here so you can take a peek. So you got the nicer valances in this area. You got the DC fridge right over there. 10 plus cubic foot DC fridge. What's not to like, okay? Let me go over there. Here's some storage. I thought I'd show you some storage real quick on this side. And you got some storage here. That's a perfect little spot for a garbage can. And of course you can access it from that little door on the outside. So you can ask, access your garbage from outside. Easy peasy. And this goes back about, oh, two and a half feet. Down there, it's only about a foot. Okay. Again, solid wood construction, plywood box, metal roller glides. Very nice. Nice metal handles. Let's open up the fridge. Why not? Let's go check it out. Of course, uh, while in transit, you keep it locked like that. You open it during, you know, when you want to use it. And they still got all their stuff in there. They, again, this is fresh from the factory. It has a filter, uh, the tire pressure monitor. But it goes back a ways. Very nice. And the freezer. Very nice. Again, typically an AC propane fridge stops right here because they have all that tubes for the, uh, what do you call it? For the ammonia to go up and down, up and down. They heat it up. Again, one of the benefits of this unit, you don't need to be totally, you know, level. And of course, it only sips energy from that 190 watt solar panel you have on the roof. And if you're hooked up to a shore power, pff, no worries in the world. So here's some storage right here. Goes back just a little bit. It's about mm, three and a half feet wide. Nice doors. And uh, up here, got your Magic Chef uh, microwave. And you got some more storage up here. This goes just across. This goes back about a foot. And of course, one, two, three. And you got that little funny little area there. I don't know what you put there. I don't know. Put your uh, bird cage up there. <laughs> yeah, some receptacles there. Receptacles there. Turn on and off your inverter here. USB. And you have this is taped down. I'm going to leave it. For them, but they got one stainless steel bowl here, one stainless steel bowl here, a uh, little dish rack. There's the oven. It's a Magic Chef oven. It's a smaller oven, but it's a good oven. I like it. It has a nice work here. And of course, it's a three burner, and you have your knife rack back there. A three burner. What do you think? I like it. It has a cast iron grates. I like cast iron grates. I don't like those little wire grates for the budget units. So right there is this closet. Good size closet, look at that. And down there's the intake, I take it, I, I think, for the uh, heater and air conditioner, there's the intake, and there it goes. Then I could be wrong, at least for the heater. So that's good storage, you got three octopuses. Let me move this, oh I should do this next, first this one first. Again, this unit is equipped with solar on board. You get a 190-watt uh, solar panel, an inverter, 1,000-watt inverter, and a and a budget little pulse-width modulated, not an MPTPT, not an MPPT charge controller, something nice. And uh, so, that's a nice basic charge controller. Better than nothing, huh? This is the TV. And I'm sitting on the chair. Ah. There's the outside door. There's a TV. There's a head unit with a couple lights. I mean speakers rather. And your little uh, fireplace slash uh, space heater. And a couple of heating vents down there. Very nice. Some of your wiring back there. Got plenty of connections. And very nice. So let me just uh, say in conclusion that I really like this unit. If you can tow it, if you got something that can tow 6,000 pounds dry, 7,000 plus loaded, hey, why not? And it's not too long, it's not too gigantic.
So this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza at Explore USA RV Supercenter. I'm just showing you a very nice and fresh off the uh, Indiana assembly line uh, micro light. What do you think? Do you like it? I sort of like it. I like it if I had a bigger truck, but since I don't have a big truck, it's not an option for me. Again, I'm at Explore USA RV Supercenter. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much ahead of time. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments below, way below the description. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash JMM Garza. Again, thank you very much. From Fort Worth, Texas, where it's finally a sunny day after the uh, hell that we call the ice storm, <laughs> the ERCOT ice storm. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.